All right, friends, if you can hear me, welcome to this quick little broadcast here. I'm going to make sure we're live real quick, jump on the Facebook and make sure this feed is coming through. I believe it is. Excellent. There we are. All right. Hey, John, what's going on, bro? Hey, Ronnie. Oh, man. I tell you what's going on. Something this Saturday, January 2nd, right? We got something going on. I know that's true, man. I'm looking forward to jumping online with you and a bunch of good friends on Saturday at 11 a.m. Central. We got the upcoming Global Blues Harmonica Summit, Summit happening. Um, for those watching this that are like, what is a Global Blues Harmonica Summit? It's a simply a place for anywhere, anybody, I should say, anywhere in the world to connect online to learn about blues harmonica. And um, John, man, I remember when we connected first, you probably don't remember this. But I met you in Lyons, Colorado, approximately 1997 or six. And it was a tough night for you, sir. Uh -huh. It was one of those nights where you were under the weather and I had just mm -hmm. met you, but I knew about your music. I was hooked from the moment I heard you, man. I'm just psyched to get you into the summit and let people hear about your insight when it comes to not just playing the harp. Yeah, that's our focus, but like, showmanship connecting with the band connecting with the people and that's something you do so well um tell us a little bit about these three tunes you got three tunes that you've picked out that i think are perfect that we will explore inside of the summit what are those songs well i got uh, she's my punisher and uh i play first position harmonica on that and uh it's not a standard uh, chord progression but it's all blues when it comes down to it and yeah. uh so yeah that's that she's my punisher and uh and then i have a chain breaker and that's a that's a cross harp second position tune and uh it's like a cool like box shuffle uh groove it's got a really good feel to it man i like that one a lot yeah man yeah and 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 that one has a lot of great interplay um with the band how you know the soloists can bring the band in to support them right and yeah you, the first position song that you brought up was cool i always said that it kind of reminded me of a lazy lester feel when mm -hmm. lazy's doing that first position stuff it's really just just kicking it's just such a way to uh I keep saying it, but set off set up the song in a way that gives immediately the mood and the feel first mm -hmm because it comes right out of the gates. Each three of these, each three songs, they're all different and unique. And I think what's cool in a educational setting to be able to talk about them and we'll break down some of the harmonica parts for sure, but is to get the take on why, you know, like why the heck did you choose first? Why did you choose? So not today, but when we do the summit, these are the types of things we can get into with yeah. people that are joining, which I'm excited about. Before I forget, I want to mention that there are three sponsors, really four sponsors for the event. Um, Blows Me Away Productions. You guys might know Greg yeah. King, making some killer microphones and Love other it. products. He is donating a Bulletini to one lucky winner as a door wow. prize. That's cool. Um, we've got Stage 5 Memphis Mini Company. It's been making pedals and amps now for several years. And uh, Rick Davis is donating a little fatty pedal I don't know if you've ever played those. Have you ever tried a little fat? Those oh, work extremely man. well. Yeah. So, and, and the boost pedal he makes, the little fatty oh, pedal, yeah. he's just figured out like a simple, affordable pedal. That's his niche that just does the job it's meant to do. And it works very well. So he's given away one of those. Wow. And Joe Spires has made a stage one custom wow. special 20 and, and he's going to donate one of those as a door prize as well to one lucky winner. Wow. Great. I know. So all you got to do is sign up. You don't have to be present to win. If you're signed up, you'll automatically be in the mix to potentially win. And Wang Dang Doodle Tees, who's been supporting all of my good friends out there in the blues community, helping with artwork, um, website design, t-shirts and all this. Yeah. He's a great guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Scott. And so he's also kind of an honorary um, sponsor of mine. We'll figure out if he wants to make a donation, but either, he's already donated his time tremendously and as far as I'm concerned, um, we should all be returning the favor and supporting Absolutely. him for helping us keep this music alive. Um, there's a link in this broadcast. You're watching this, this video, even if it's a recording, 
the link will take you to where you guys can sign up. The event lasts usually a couple hours with a break in the middle. Um, there will be plenty of time to ask questions. Again, it's all recorded. And if you want to get into John Namath's head and understand, which is can be a scary place, I understand. But no, I'm kidding. <laughs> You froze right when I said that. Oh, don't freeze on me, man. <laughs> yeah, don't mess with me like that. It's like, <laughs> but no, if you want to get into his mind a little bit about playing harp and just understanding how to communicate a little better on the bandstand, this is going to be an awesome event. That's this Saturday at 11 a.m. Central. You can tune in as early as 10 minutes prior to kind of chat and hang out in the uh, Summit online area. And anything else you want to add to the mix that I'm not mentioning? John? Well, let's go all the way to the summit and see what we all can see. Let's do that, man. Huh? I, I always say that expression. Let's see what we can see. Um, oh, yeah. Cool, man. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's something that always comes out. Let's see what we can see now. But it's true, man. Sometimes you have to show up to find out what you're going to learn. Um, man, that's, you know what? That is life. Yeah. Showing up. You know, I, I'm I'm, re I'm reading a book about uh, by Eddie Floyd, the great soul singer, uh, uh, and uh, the guy that cut Knock on Wood. Right. And it's sort of big part of 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 growing and and learning and being a part of something is actually being there. Yeah. You got to soak it in somehow, right? You know, and. Uh, and right now, Zoom is the best thing we got. As that, you know, this this is this is how we all get there. This is how we all come together right now. You got it, man. It's been working really well for me. And sometimes it's also about not having expectations. I have a lot of people that ask, "Is this summit right for me? Is it too advanced? Will I learn something?" And and I'm like, you know, if you have an open mind, some of the best learning experiences musically that I ever soaked up were the things that went over my head, and it mm -hmm. took two, three, four years to catch up to the information I received. But boy, I'm glad I was there for those moments because it stuck with me. And it was just a me, about me catching up to the to the teachable moment. So, uh, hey, what's up, Daniel, Thomas, and everyone tuning in here. I know I'm not catching everybody, but I'm just saying hello really quick. Let's jump over to Harmonic. Hey, Tony and Hank, everybody. Thanks for tuning in today. Um, don't miss this. What am I I'll forgetting? Take it easy. I'll take it easy too, man. I'll, 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 um, I won't go super fast, you know, and, um, one, one part of, uh, of, of being a performer and singing is, is that you have to take your time when you're speaking to the audience. So I'll take my time. It'll be a nice, easy pace. Yeah. And, and you know, I, I, I won't get ahead of myself and, and everybody, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it so it's it's easy to understand. I appreciate it, man. Um, I'm very much looking forward to this. If you have questions, you guys can hit me up here on Facebook through any of my pages, Harmonica123, Global Blues, Harmonica Summits, or my personal page, wherever you want. I'm here for you. Uh, what else can I tell you? So I had one other thought. Um, don't worry about it. If people ask this all the time, but just don't worry about it. If you cannot make it live, it's all recorded. So you can catch that recording when it ends. That's a, That's a sweet option. Yeah. And what harmonica keys would they want to bring if they would like to try to learn a couple of those lines from a those G, songs? A standard G harmonica, a standard D harmonica, and an F harmonica. Okay. Gotcha. G, D, and F? G, D, and F. Okay. Well, that's what we got today. Appreciate you taking the time to chat it up and really looking forward Thank to the you. summit on Saturday with you, man. Can't wait. It's going to be great. We're going to have some fun. Yeah, we are. I'll see you on Saturday, and I hope to see all of you on Saturday. Adios, everybody. Ciao.